What's good, everybody? Corbino here. And I discovered a truth that The Walking Dead didn't want us to find out. Hey, everybody. Let's get started on this. I've discovered that Andrea is Amy. In the first volume of The Walking Dead, and if you don't read the comics, then you, you can sort of follow along with the show. First season of The Walking Dead, Amy, Andrea's sister, dies. That's not the case. At least in the comics. She survived. She snuck after... We thought she was dead. We did. But no. She killed Andrea. I don't know exactly how it happened. Because the panel show injury killing Amy. So I don't know how that happened. But it did. Okay, alright. I'm just kidding here. But really, Andrea is Amy. I've been reading the Walking Dead comics. Uh, I bought this volume at a con when I was in 10th grade. Uh, early 10th grade. So that would have been about 2012 for me. And I read this first volume. Uh, then I went to the library and picked up a few more and just kept reading as many as I could. Finally caught up and started reading, like, single issues at around 103. Um, yeah, I've been reading it for a while. The first time through, I didn't think anything of it. And then I reread it a couple more times, you know, just, like, I normally reread it after, like, a huge event or something. So I reread it, uh, you know, after the uh, All Out War. Sort of thought, huh, seems like there's something going on here. But I was like, ah, never mind. I'm going crazy. So then I reread it again later on. Uh, I think it was a little bit before the Whisper War, like, Maybe during the Whisper War. Maybe it was while it was happening. And I just saw it again. I'm reading volume one. And they introduce us to Andrea and Amy. And I see Amy and I think it's Andrea. And I see Andrea and I think it's Amy. But they introduce them wrong. And I'm like, huh. Maybe that's just a mistake, or maybe I'm reading it wrong. I tried to reread that bubble a few times, and then, you know, as we're getting to know everybody at the camp, I'm trying my hardest to understand. But Amy and Andrea, and I'm going to have some pictures here. I'm going to pull them up my phone so I can see exactly what I'm talking about. Um, where are we at? Okay. Yeah, they introduce us, and here in a picture somewhere you'll see... Amy. Now, they don't specify which one's which right away, which I thought the one wearing the hoodie with the 15 on it was Andrea, because I've been reading for a long time. And you'll see why I would think that in a little bit. Anyways, they never specify right away, but as you go on and read it, you start to realize, oh, which one's which. And when they're doing their gun practice, the one that I just feel like should have been Amy wasn't they are talking about how good Andrea's come uh, how far she's gone uh, come along with her gun training and everything and it's it's letting you know which one's Andrea it has multiple things of it and then we have Amy at the campfire and she's getting up to go to the bathroom and it's the one that I think should be Andrea and so then she, she, you know, she dies, and, oh, you know, she's dead. It's the one that I think should be Andrea. Now we jump to volume two. Sorry, Andrea. Now we jump to volume two. And now Andrea looks like Amy. Now, I was talking to Jeff. He works up at Classic Classics. I was talking to him, well, and Tony, but Jeff was saying that back when he read The Walking Dead, he remembered being a little confused by it, wondering what was going on there. 
And because I remember reading the first volume over and over again and being confused every time because I thought Amy and Andrea were reversed. I was very confused. Once I get to volume two, I was never confused until this time through because I was like, I'm getting to the bottom of this. I'm tired of being confused. So now we are in volume two here. And Andrea looked exactly like Amy. Amy, I'll pop up somewhere, had freckles, had a ponytail, wore that uh, hoodie with the number on it. Well, Andrea had straight long hair, no freckles or anything. Her face was very smooth. But once we hit volume two, it's changed. Now, but the difference between these two is the artist. This was Tony Moore. This becomes Charlie Adler. I still don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Adler? Yeah, this should be about right. Anyways, this is Charlie Adler. I think what happened was when they brought Charlie Adler on, you know, Robert Kirkman was like, hey, yo, go check out volume one, see what the characters look like, and, you know, you sort of do your own take on them. And I think he got confused and recreated Amy on accident. I don't know. I have Googled it, but it's hard to Google that. Like, I've Googled, is did they accidentally draw? Is Amy, Andrea, you know, Walking Dead comics? It's hard to Google it, and I haven't found anything. So, I mean, there could be stuff out there. There could be. I don't know. But, yeah, that's what I think happened is that he accidentally drew Andrea as Amy. And you would think Robert Kirkman would have caught this, but honestly, you know, it's not like they had a huge part in Volume 1. Yeah, Amy died, but it wasn't a huge... They didn't have huge roles. So maybe he didn't really pay attention to it. He didn't realize. And I know uh, a lot of people get freckles as the summer starts. I don't know if people get freckles as winter starts. I don't know. But Andrea in the comics get, gets freckles when it starts becoming winter time. She could start doing a ponytail. Anybody can do that. She could even start wearing her sister's clothes because her sister's dead. I think that's a little weird. And it's what her sister died in. So I'm now realizing there should be some bite marks in it. In one of the arms at least. She got bit twice, right? Maybe that's just a show. Either way, the clothes shouldn't be clean and ready to wear, but she does. And that's why I think that is too much. It's too much coincidences, you know? She now has a ponytail. She now has freckles. She now uh, wears her clothes. I don't think so. And I'm just going to sort of just pop a couple up here so you guys can see how she now looks like her. And there's even a shot of Andrea wearing a t-shirt now that has a 5. Not a 55 like the hoodie, but it's a 5. I'm going to pop that up here. I was trying to find, because I remember, because I just got done rereading the Walking Dead comic books at the time of this recording. And when I, when I was rereading and realizing, you know, the truth, there was a panel of her and Dale in their prison cell. And I'm almost positive that she had... The, oh, I'm almost positive she had the number 55 hoodie hanging up in her cell. And I was trying to find it again when I was looking for these pictures. I was, you know, flying through the comics, skimming through, trying to find it. Couldn't find it. I'm sure it's in there somewhere. I may try to look again before, you know, this video goes public. But still, let me know what you guys think. If you guys are walking to the fans, now don't get me wrong. I mean, maybe I'd feel different if they kept it that way but I like Andrea looking this way but it could just, it's because I've been used to it since volume two but yeah let me know send you know put some articles down below if you guys have found something where Robert Kirkman or Charlie Adler someone's like yo we mixed that up but we just figured YOLO you know because it's weird and it did it confused me and it, Jeff said it confused him I figure it's confused a few other people out there um, but now that I've fully reread and done my research as well as I could, I 100% believe that Charlie Adler just got confused and re you know, uh, redrew Amy instead of Andrea. Uh, yeah. 
Mm, and Jason's one of my favorite characters, so, you know, I ain't talking shit or nothing. I just, I want to know the truth. So if you guys know the truth, let me know down below. And, yeah, that's it. Until next time, don't become your sister. That makes sense.